tommy always has trouble getting to school on time he's late more often than early there is the school up ahead no need to hurry can't make it on time anyway but when tommy he does get to school everything in miss hill's room stops until he settles down in his seat being late for school hurts tommy all right he misses part of the lesson but what's worse he hurts everyone in the room they all miss part of the school day rule number one students will be on time for class a part of nearly everything we do is getting ready to do it to get ready for her spelling lesson Susan makes sure she has the right book on her desk plenty of paper for writing and a pencil that has a good sharp point Lois didn't bother to think of these things ahead of time and look at the trouble she is in the room now. Thinking about what you are going to do before you do it means you won't have to disturb others. Kenny does his best to keep the paint where he wants it instead of on the floor and by knowing ahead of time what he wants to paint he is making a picture that he can be proud to call his own. Rule number two, students will be prepared to work in class. Harvey is the happiest boy in school. He likes to visit with his friends and say hello to everybody he passes. The other children and the teachers too like Harvey because being cheerful helps to make everyone feel better. When you destroy something that belongs to another person, he must buy another to take its place. When you destroy something that belongs to your school, the money to buy another must come from your parents. Being careful not to destroy what belongs to other people is part of being a good citizen. Rule number three, students will be polite and respectful. Say, what's the big idea? What do you think you're doing? What? What are you talking about? I have the faintest idea of what you mean. When you play with the big ball, be sure no one is in front of you when you throw it. Rule number four, students will keep hands, feet, and all objects to themselves. We post bulletins that remind us of the rules about fire drills, where to go and what to do about school activities, what they do and how they operate, about safety on the streets near our school, rules for living together. Our teachers are always glad to answer questions about the rules. Yes, most of the time we remember and respect the rules. Rule number five, students will obey all school rules at all times. Each one of us has the responsibility of learning the rules and remembering to follow them.